Hi, little guy. Friend or enemy? Uh, friend? Hmm, I guess if you were an enemy, you would let me know. My name is Dexa. Gentleman, adventurer, and explorer of everything unknown. Name your request. What kind of map is that? It's a treasure map. It will lead me to the Bazillion's treasure. That sounds awesome. Where is the treasure? It says it's somewhere in the root forest. Oh, in Asposia's most dangerous place? Nobody's ever returned alive from that forest. Yeah, I know. I was there once with a boy from the neighborhood hunting for gorfs. I tied him to a tree. He was never to be seen again. Oh. Yeah, but my mom said he's in a better place now. Are you sure that this is a treasure map? It looks like a knitting pattern to me. Oh, come on! Do I look like I can't tell a treasure map from a knitting pattern? No, uh, yes. I mean, of course. But I think that... Listen, I will tell you what I've been trying to tell my mom. And the judge. And the uncle who wanted to discuss my dreams with me. If I tell you it's real, then it's real! What is the Bazillion's treasure? The Bazillion's treasure is so secret that nobody knows what it looks like. But it's most likely in a treasure chest. And what did the Bazillions put into the chest? Their eyes. Oh, yuck. What would you do with them? I don't know. I guess I will try to break them. Well, that's it. Enjoy your game. What game? Okay. I'd better take it before someone steals it. attack oh my gosh until now I just saw the attacks of the gods in safe distance from the balcony At your service, Abbot Conroy. It could always come in handy. Who's there? Friend? Enemy? Fan? I believe... Uh, friend? Oh, how nice to welcome a visitor. Why are you in prison? Oh, that's a long story. 
I used to be one of Asposia's tailors, but the wind gods found my robes to be too... provocative. They attacked the city, and Conroy captured me for my own safety. Against my will. Hmm. Actually, the story's not that long. You have to be Asposia's best tailor. Oh, I'm only a small stitch in the unending scarf of history. So you're a tailor? Oh, young friend, it's a lot more than a job. It's a calling. The needles are mental extensions of my arms. You have to become one with the fabric. The material has to flow through you. So, you're a tailor? Yes. You can't imagine how much I miss knitting. If you miss knitting that much, I can help you. Yes. Can you get me out of here? Oh, God. I've been waiting years for this moment. Hmm. Actually, I was hoping you could knit something for me. I mean, if you miss it that much and all. Oh, yes. Sure. That's also very... Mm, mm. What do you want me to knit for you? A onesie. Well, only if you want to. Oh, and then you get me out of here? I know. Conroy brought me here for my own safety. But I'd rather be turned into stone than spend another day in this cell. Well, I guess I can see what I can do. Great. Okay. Well, then I need a knitting pattern, needles, and, um... Mm, what fabric are we looking for? Strawberry yarn would be best. Okay, well, I'm familiar with that. I used to have strawberry yarn when I was, well, free. But... but I really can't promise you anything. That's okay. This is the most hope I've had in years. That's, uh, um, really tragic. But back to the onesie. Feel free to ask whatever it is you want to know. Okay, I'm, I'm going now. Oh. Okay, I'll stay here, yes. The marbles are sparkling in the chest. Hey, you're on a treasure hunt, right? Look what I found. the treasure map now. Sure, I don't need that old knitting pattern anymore. sin.
The knitting pattern. Excellent. Oh, I see. That one's going to be one fashionable onesie. We're still missing something for the onesie. I'm trying my best. Here, can you use this as a knitting needle? Well, I will be able to use it. May I ask where you got it from? From the Sino mat. Interesting. How did you come up with that? Oh, there was this lady behind the bar. Ah, uh, you're talking about Ottilie? She's a babe. I'm afraid you've been imprisoned for far too long. We're still missing something for the onesie. I'm trying my best. Here I found real strawberry yarn. My goodness, I would never have imagined that I would ever use this fabric again. It's very kind of you to let me assist in all of this. Yes, mm. I'm always glad to help. I can see I have an idealist before me. We're still missing something for the onesie. I'm trying my best. Will that work? I think so. Very interesting needle. What exactly is this? Uh... It looks exactly like a walking stick. Yes, funny, isn't it? <laughs> as long as you can work with it. If that were a walking stick, some crippled Asposian wouldn't be able to get around anymore without it. The important question right now is if you can knit with it. I just mean, it really looks exactly like a walking stick. It's a needle. Okay, it will definitely serve the purpose. Now I have everything I need for the onesie. There you go. A onesie made from straw bear yarn. Great. Thank you so much. The baby will be happy. No problem. Oh, only just imagining the tiny thing kicking around in it warms my heart. Yes, thank you. You helped me a lot. Could you get me a baby? What? Why? I'm so lonely here. How about a dog? No, I sure won't. A potted plant? I'll go now. I did it. A onesie made from real straw bear yarn. Little Conroy will stay warm from now on. My goodness, that was a joke. You really knitted a onesie made from straw bear yarn? I can't believe it. If I would have said gold, would you have gotten gold for me? Damn, I should have said gold. But the baby insisted on it. It's a baby. It can't tell its toe from its nose. Uh, where can I find Laura? The Mikata is down the street. Try it there. Try? I thought you knew for sure where I... Hey, how could I know that you would really bring me strawberry yarn? She'll be there. You better get looking before she leaves again. Okay, uh, thank you. At the Mikata. I should have said the baby needs a house. I should have said house. Wow, how nice. This is the art place, and... Oh, I think the play's starting. 
This is Little Finnis. Together with his parents, he was living a modest and happy life. Every day they went to a wind fountain in order to appease the gods with a small offering. But one day, Finnis' parents decided that they couldn't spare the offerings anymore. The wind gods didn't appreciate that at all. Well, little Finnis, obviously seeing you grow up, wasn't that important to your parents. In order for Finnis to avoid meeting the same fate as his parents, he has to listen to Conroy. The wisest of the Asposians has plenty of sound advice on how to stay on the Wind God's good side. Praying every day helps. The Basilians like it when their people are living a modest life, void of demands. And don't forget the small offering. Do what Finnis does. Live the way that pleases the gods. And when in doubt, ask yourself, what would Conroy do? Wow, that was exciting. Wait a minute, there are feathers on the stage. Feathers, this can only mean Either the pigeon thief is here somewhere, or someone is wearing a pigeon feather boa and tripped. Probably over these cracks in the ground. sleep. It wasn't me. Um, what's just happened?
I found you, little Fosfos. Don't worry, I'll bring you back to Conroy. <laughs> Root wax? Why doesn't this damn thing work? That idiot probably broke it. I'm sure she's not talking about me. <clears throat> if I ever see that imbecile again, I'll kill him. I hope she's not talking about me. The label says, Conrad's Super Glue. Mix with solvent, shake, and glue. Huh, Ottilie's liquor is as good as solvent. fits perfectly. I'll put some glue on the hand. The net is sticking to the hand. you're doing? Mm, I snatched the little phosphos from you. Almost. Wow. I'm so impressed that I'm going to continue to ignore you. I won't stand idly by while you steal Conroy's pendant and, uh... My father built that phosphos. Conroy stole it from him. But... Uh, Conroy would never do that. Boy, how naive are you? <sighs> Come on. Please. Maybe it's just stuck? Why? Why won't it glow? <laughs> hey, don't cry. I can cry whenever I want. If you want it to glow, you just have to... Look here. Give it to me! <clears throat> Daddy! Laura, I hope you'll watch this. I'm deeply sorry, my girl. I had no idea what Conroy was planning. I... <laughs> Laura, listen to me carefully. The only way to stop Conroy. Laura, you must... No time left. In the root forest. To save the wind. Without the flute. We're running out of time. In the root forest. Ah! 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 Leave it. Take care of the others. Oh! 
Rimenepo, old friend, what's going on? A little souvenir you've got there. Guards, take him to the chamber. Laura! This will forever remind me of today, the most beautiful day of my life. <sighs> what a strange nose. He always said I was the only one. What has Conroy done? He lied to me. <gasps> Robert, excellent work, my boy. Without you, we would never have found her. You scumbag! What have you done to my father? I know exactly! Guard! You've always said that the Phosphos reminds you of the best day of your life. I am sorry you had to find out this way, Robert, but there are no greeting cards for such things. Robert, come here. We both know you can't get by on your own. No! I mean, yes. I mean, yes, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> brute forest, brute forest. Okay. Okay, flute nose. Grab hold and put on the helmet. It could get dangerous. I need that flute nose. I really don't think that he will be coming back, sir. I was really only referring to his nose. What exactly are we looking for? My father talked about the root forest in the film. Did you not listen? Well, I was slightly distracted by the screaming Aspersions and the Basilians. The place where the film was made has to be somewhere here in the forest. But the root forest is huge. And scary. We have to start somewhere. Don't you want to know the secret behind the petrified flute noses? Well... Of course. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Uh, I was just going to say that. Um, well then, uh, let's go. Stop. There's a trap there. Where? Oh yeah, I knew that. I just wanted to... Oh. Yeah, right, Flute Nose. I'm going to find another way into the forest. You stay here. Act petrified. And above all, don't touch anything. <laughs> As if I couldn't handle this trap by myself. Come on, spit that old liar out. Someone should keep an eye on you. So, what are you then? Hello, my little... Can I pet you? Hello, young fella. The answer to your first question is, I am a Gorf. The answer to your second question is, oh, not unless you wish to die a cruel death. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you were able to talk. 
No problem. Not many know I can. Most of the people who ever got to know me are dead. Actually, all of them are. Um... You should know that 96% of my body consists of lethal poisons. Oh my god. Yes. I live safeguarded, but one but only after a while. So, um, would you describe yourself as poisonous? It's the primary self-defense mechanism of my species. Gotcha. So, you can survive in the root forest, even though it's so dangerous? <laughs> to speak the truth here, what makes the root forest so dangerous is the corpse. But what is so dangerous about you? In principle, everything. I secrete deadly corrosive fluid. My tail is a club of death. Don't even get me started about my claws. <laughs> they can sink into anything softer than diamond. I could go on forever. What's so dangerous about your claws? Well, let me put it like this. Actually, I can only move on sturdy rocks. On any other surface, I get stuck because my claws dig in. With time, this stone will also give way. I imagine that must be very exhausting. Ah, it's not that bad. It keeps me fit. What exactly is a secretion? A bodily fluid. Everything that one can secret. For example, skin and my saliva are extremely corrosive. Which means? That means that when it rains, I don't get wet. Because the water evaporates off of me in about a split second. But I could also spit a hole into this stone pretty easily. <laughs> that sounds incredibly impressive. Oh, yes it is. I once impressed a girl so much that she actually went out on a date with me. How did it go? Actually, quite well. But when I get nervous, I tend to splutter. Oh, and how did she react? Oh, she completely dissolved. <laughs> get it? Dissolved? <laughs>